Okay, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to install a crank angle sensor in an SR20. So what the, you have to first have to do is get it to TDC, which is the second mark from the left, and the cams have to face outwards, the first, first lender. And so facing inwards, then you have to go one more rotation. Now, this is our CAS. So as you can see, there's a line there. And I'll just put a white paint pen on there so it's easy for you guys to see. There's two dots. There's one there, and there's one there. She probably made it worse putting a dot on it. But anyway, what you have to do is line that dot up with that dot, and then slide this in. With this in the center. So this slot is in the center of those holes. So you get it all lined up. And it's a little bit stiff. Okay, so that's in the center there. And as you can see, it's off. So we have to pull it out. Not all the way. And then try again. So line up with the mark on the right, and then when you slide it in, it'll go to the one on the left. And that is in the center about there. And now you can see that line marks up with that dot. So you have to bolt this in the exact center, and that'll be 15 degrees, more or less. Um, you obviously will have to check it with a timing light to get it correct, but this will give you a base timing, really. So line up that line with the line on the right, with the dot on the right, then slide it in and it will line up with the dot on the left. If it's slightly out, you might be one tooth out on the cam, so just turn it over a little bit and try again. And when those two dots are lined up, this has to be in the center. If your cast is like this, when they're lined up, you're one tooth out, so you have to try again. Might take a little bit of fiddling around, but you should be able to get it. And then it'll be all sweet like that. So that's how you put in a crank and sensor in an SR20. Cheers for watching, guys, and catch you later.